Hello everyone and welcome to Final Fantasy 1. Now this is the pixel remaster that just came out a few days ago. I'd been wanting to play Final Fantasy recently and this seemed like a good excuse to do it. Now I have already played Final Fantasy on this channel but I figured if Square is allowed to remaster the same game 7, 8, 9 times I should be allowed to remaster my let's play at least once. So let's jump in. And we are going to, let's see, will these names fit? Up to six full width characters or 12 half width char- Alright, that's already weird. Uh, so will this fit? Uh, it's not tight, that's not encouraging. Alright, we're going to be naming these characters. Alright, it does fit. That's awesome. It's never fit before. Uh, we're gonna be naming these characters after my D&D &D group. Uh, we'll get the mouse off the screen. So, we have the warrior, Lysander. We have the monk, Jean-Claude Pierre-Paul, or to his friends, JCPP. Oh, this is, this is clunky. Uh, and lastly, we have Ophelia, if I could type, that that's not, not the interface, that's me, the cleric. Now, there were only three of us, but we were helped by a thief named Thucydides, and I'm going to look up how to spell that real quick, BRB. Alright, got it, Thucydides. I know, unconventional party, but might as well have some fun with it. Try something I haven't tried before. Begin our game. Temple of Chaos. The world lies shrouded in darkness. This is kind of familiar compared to like the PS1 version. The wind dies. Or the winds die. Okay, never mind. I can't read. We're off to a great start. Can't spell things. I can't read. The seas rage. The earth decays. Now, I did modify some, uh, I'm playing this on Steam. I did modify some of the game files to make the font less awful. Um, so I'm hoping that doesn't break things, but the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. So they're kind of giving you the plot after a journey, four young travelers did at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. Oh, music's pretty nice, actually. They so basically just took the plot that was on the, like, intro screen and... Uh, yeah, so I'm using, I am using an Xbox controller. Had to dust off the old 360 controllers. Alright, so this is like the PS1 where it, like, locks you into the town. This is Cornelia, the city of dreams. I'm curious about something. Alright! I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. I was worried they were gonna get rid of the leveling, like, the level spell casting, but they didn't. That's awesome. Alright, it's just... Uh, take a cursory look here. Alright, nothing I see that we need to change. I am going to change the party order and put, uh, Ophelia in the, the last slot so she does not get wailed on. Let's peek at, take a peek at your reflection in the water. Ugh, you're filthy. Use this to wash up. Oh, you can move diagonal too. Alright. 
Hi there, I'm a dancer. What's that? You want to dance with me? <laughs> oh. Restore the crystals to grace. All right, we aren't going to talk to everybody, but I just kind of want to get a feel. Welcome. All right, I think we want, let's see, hammer for sure. Two rapiers and a chuck. All right, so this is going to be very close. To I did notice that it takes us less experience to level up. So not not exactly like the original. Uh, so one chainmail. Oh, things are a lot cheaper too. And two leather armor, not wood armor. Uh, yeah, and you can optimize. That's weird to me that the monk starts with the staff, but I guess that makes some sense. All right, cool. We're equipped, and we still have a ton of money. And stuff to sell. All right, get rid of that. All right, that's that's nice. That's a that's a nice improvement. All right, let's get some spells. We only need yeah. Not having a black mage is gonna be interesting. All right, so cure. Dia and or Dia. I always said Dia. I'm I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Dia and protect. Cool. All right. Uh, let's talk to you. Sage Lucan said something about finding the crescent moon. Then he jumped just up and left town. All right. Anyway, you know what would be a good idea? since we have the money. You know what would be a good idea is get some let's get some potions. Wow, this is it's a little touchy. I'll get used to it. It's it's not. The worst. It's just oh. All right. So there's a lot of new items. All right. Maybe this isn't going to be as important as I think it is. Uh, let's get three potions. Now, for the NES original, that would be huge to have money to spare for three more potions. I'm thinking it might not matter here. The king is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. Th those crystals. You must see the king at once. Uh, hello, sir. Welcome, travelers. I'm told you carry the crystals. Is this true? Yo. It is just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. What? Why are you doubting me? It's always, it's always the Chancellor. Yet they stand before us with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal Bears, there's a task I would ask of you. Will you rescue, rescue my daughter, Sarah? Garland, a knight once in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I've heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a token of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. Um, can you maybe get started on that? That seems like a pretty large construction project. Alright, I'm kind of digging the music. Alright, let's get, uh... Let's get into some battles here. Ooh. Okay. It's not bad. Um, not what I was expecting. Oh, Thucydides two hits like right off the bat. Oh my God, you're just like, we're wrecking everything. All right, so this uh, is looking like it's not gonna be very hard. So, I, if, from what I can tell, so far, this seems to be based on the PS1 version, like the easy mode. I'm wondering if I even need to worry about, like, who attacks what. Let's find out. Nope. All right. Hmm. Kind of wish this was, like, the PS1 version where I could, like, turn that option back on. 
to have like the ineffective attacks and and stuff like that. That's crazy to me that the thief is already doing two hits. I'll level up. All right. Oh, here we go. They uh, still shows you what you get for level up. I like that. Okay, so Lysander got quite a bit of hit points. Uh, one point of strength, so that, that wasn't great. JCPP, a lot of hit points. Uh, agility, stamina, luck. Lucidity, strength, and luck. Uh, Ophelia, agility, and intellect. Okay. Let's see. An extra cast of the spells. Uh, level 1 spells. I'm trying to think. I swear you only got a level 3 spell. Uh, do I wanna, let's level up one more time and then we'll go to the temple. I'm not entirely upset that they like sped up the leveling. Uh, it is weird to me that they... Like, we just hit so much harder. Like, Thucydides already hits for two hits. Which is interesting, that actually makes him, even though he's physically weaker than Lysander, uh, he deals more damage because he hits more times. Uh, so like I said, the characters are named after uh, a D&D group I played with, played with. We did a podcast called Noobs and Dragons. And so me and a few other people, we were on the second season uh, of the show. And we got halfway through recording the season and then we couldn't meet anymore because we were on lockdown. And uh, so we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. We were like, we can try recording over the internet. We weren't sure about the quality because like there, there was, you know, not everyone had like the same quality mics as opposed to like meeting in a studio and doing it. And so I proposed, I was like, what if we did like a one shot campaign uh, just to one, see how it goes and then see if maybe all this craziness is subsided by them. Ha. <laughs> and uh, so, okay. And that one shot adventure went on for like 40 episodes. So there's season two and then there's season two, the intermission. And so these characters are from the intermission. Um, so yeah, that was, that was fun to get to do. Oh, preemptive strike. There we go. So we had, uh, Lysander played by Sphinx and, uh, JCPP played by, uh, my friend LPJ. Ah, oh, there we go. That's not a very good level up for anybody. Oh yeah, that was, that was a very weak level up. All right, let's rest up. Uh, they're both from the uh, Last Action Podcast. And I'm, I'm throwing all these things out there. All at once. Uh, I would... No, I'd like to stay at your inn. Do I... This is how I save? Or can I just save anywhere? Uh, and then there was my character, uh, Ophelia. And uh, Thucydides was actually like... Uh, oh, there we go. I can just save. Uh, a character who ended up uh, joining us once one of the others uh, unfortunately had to drop out part way through um, so that kind of bounced out our party a bit and uh, actually kind of tied uh, season two to the uh, to the intermission a little bit better so, and as I mentioned you know this was just a, a game that I'd been wanting to play and I heard the pixel remaster was coming and I thought, that's a good excuse to play through it again. Because I've not actually played through this game in quite a while. Uh, I, no, nothing is going to help me there. Oh, 13 damage. I'm a, I'm a little less concerned about how much damage they do just because we deal so much damage. Uh, there is a run button, which is nice. Stop! Oh, we are gonna be so squishy. I mean, I guess maybe not really much more so than usual. Leather cap. All right, who can make use of that? 
I don't think... Like, JCPP already has... Yeah, that doesn't even help him. I'm curious, does... The armor doesn't even help him. That kicked in a lot sooner than I thought. Alright. Cool. Alright, now he has better evasion and no armor. Uh, four... Oh, no, let's... Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Gigas worm, okay. These were like what, creep creepers? Creeps. Creep? I don't remember. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time since I've played uh the original. Whoa, that was that's good experience though. Maybe we'll uh probably level up one more time walking anyway. My first time playing it was uh the the NES version. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't get that until... Yeah, level up. Here we go. Oh, that's a, that's a much better level up. Like, 25 hit points. Point of strength. Four hit points. Point of strength, though. JCPP. His, his intellect, uh, it might have been more accurate at one. Uh, oh, really good level up for Thucydides. 20, 22 hit points. Point of strength. Agility. Um... Uh, Again, intellect is probably roughly correct. Uh, oh, not... I don't know. I don't know if intellect matters. It didn't in the original. But who knows if they fixed that. I'm assuming they did along with luck. Oh, here we go. Now, this is a battle. Okay, here we go. What are we going to do? We're going to have... Uh... Do you... I think Hannibal can take one of those out. Probably not. Thucydides might just because he hits twice. So let's. I think those are the targets to get. All right. That. Oh, that wolf. No, Thucydides can't take it out himself. So uh, I'm assuming Lysander won't be able to either. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, see, there we go. There's the extra point of evasion. Paying off. We killed nothing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, these gotta die. Um Let's see. And uh please live long enough for this to matter. Wait, it tried to run away and it missed? I don't even know what to make of that. Okay, okay. We're not on death's door anymore. This is why I bought the potion. Die? Oh, it's still not dead. Please die. Okay. We're two turns in and we've killed one wolf. Okay. Just... That... That thing has to go. Oh! God, stop! <laughs> Dealing so much damage. Oh my god, well you guys hit things. I don't even know if that I care what at this point. Oh, this is... This is a terrible fight. <laughs> I'm like, yes, here we go, finally. And uh, we're not doing too good. Um, I think just mow down these wolves. Um, I, I, Lysander doesn't take much damage. I think it makes more sense. Yeah, he's only taking one damage per hit. I think it makes sense to try to just mow some of these things down. Lysander already hitting twice. Alright, just... Ugh. Okay. 300 exp You would not get that much. Um... So let's see, divided by four... Maybe. I mean, if I... I don't... I kind of doubt it. You definitely wouldn't get an antidote because there were no item drops. Uh, this is why we bought potions, though. Oh, they're really good, too. Alright, we'll just use them all up. There we go. I'm curious about this with JCPP. If I remove... And his accuracy doesn't go up, so he's not quite at being able to fight unarmed yet. King will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. Who's there? 
Hmm. King Slapdogs, do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland, will knock you all down. That's such a good line. I'm glad they kept that line. Alright. Um, attack, attack, attack. Uh, protect. Protect yourself. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, so far the, the music, it's not bad. It's not great. Like, the battle theme to me, and I don't mean this to sound insulting, uh, sound, sounds like an OC remix, which I love that stuff. But in like, an, an official release, it's not necessarily what I'm looking for. But like, I don't, like I said, it's not bad. It's just not quite what I was, what I was expecting. All right, moving right along. Normally, like, it would take you quite a while to level up to like, especially level five. There's no way you're getting to level five uh, without some serious grinding. All right, level up. Point of strength, point of agility, point of stamina. All right, not a lot of hit points. That's fine. I'll take the stats at this point. Man, JCPP, I, I really expected him to have a lot more health. Oh, that's a terrible level up for Thucydides. Uh, Ophelia, that's, that doesn't really help her very much. I mean, the strength is nice. Um, early on, later, late game, it won't matter. You, you've come to rescue me. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Words could never be enough to thank you. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please accompany me to the Castle Cornelia. And then we warped. Somehow. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the Light Warriors, or Warriors of Light of Lucan's prophecy. I should hear the prophecy in its entirety. <clears throat> if I may, please don't. When darkness veils the world, four Warriors of Light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. Four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. Okay. Um, this loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you on your journey. And we got the loot! Sarah's thoughts are always with you. The dancing girl in town knows many odd bits of information. If you find yourself astray, try talking to her. She may know something that can put you back on course. So yeah, they basically like turned her into a hint machine from what I remember. Alright, we need to heal big time. Or did it heal us? No, we need to heal. Ah, cutscene. Yeah, this was something that was originally added in like the PS1 version, which I believe itself was a port. Orders from His Majesty, we are to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. Honestly, it was like the Wonder Swan. I, you know, gotta give them credit, they're very efficient. What does this bridge have to do with the prophecy? I don't know. The warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. Oh. All right. At least he's kind of studied. All right. Let's rest at the inn. Oh, 
I was like the sprites the sprites are nice the music it it's not what I expected but it, it it's decent the font uh, was hideous I like I once lived far to the east of here in the harbor city of Provoca these days I hear it's turned into a pirate's den uh, having fixed the font it is much more tolerable all right let's get uh, like five potions um, Restores one MP for each magic level? That seems stupidly overpowered. Uh... I grab more potions. Like, one MP doesn't sound like much. I guess it depends on how they balance the game. Alright, here we go. I'm so, I am excited for this. And so, their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once, long ago, held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. they did a pretty good job with that turn the volume back down make sure I don't blast you guys out all right that's where we're gonna call it uh, I, I got the uh, achievement a hero's journey that's where we're gonna call it an episode uh, let me know what you guys think of this so far I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments uh, I'm all I, I promise I won't do the sales pitch every single video just the one time <laughs> Uh, if you're enjoying it, uh, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I do have a Discord. I will hopefully remember to put the link in the description. Uh, so come check that out. We have a lot of people who love RPGs and Final Fantasy in general. So uh, consider checking that out. Like I said, one-time deal. We won't we won't cover that stuff again. Uh, I don't like it. You don't want to hear it. That's it. So, uh, but yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think of this so far. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.